Hi, uh, welcome to uh, part five and building a website in 2019 in Notepad++. Um, we're going to be looking at optimizing the site. Again, the site is still being built offline, so we're going to look at uh, how, getting this look to look good on mobile. Mobile, sorry. Uh, so if I crunch this down, this uh, window down, it does not look that great on mobile uh, to start. So first thing I think I'm going to deal with is the menu. And to do that, I'm just going to uh, Google mobile menu CSS, or uh, no, code, rather. And I didn't type that in right. Okay. Uh, and I believe this is the link. Okay, so we're going to steal some code. Uh, we're going to steal part of the style sheet, and we're going to have to copy this part on to the index page, which I'm trying to optimize. That. So let's go to the index and we'll go up. And we did copy the style sheet. Okay, that's good. Uh, there's something else we need to copy. Uh, that's going to be Um, well, we will have to copy um, when the screen gets uh, below 600 pixels, which is be the mobile code. So I'm going to go and copy that. Hit Control C, and we'll go back to here. We're going to put this um, down at the bottom here. We'll call this uh, mobile menu. Um, mobile size uh, CSS. I might think of something better to comment that off as. And then we're going to paste that in. Hit Control Save. Okay. Now we have to go back and we have to get some uh, this JavaScript. Okay. And we're going to have to put that in some script in the head of the index file. So let's go here, uh, and we'll make a comment, uh, mobile menu uh, JavaScript, okay, and then we're going to type script tag, and then paste in this, no, oh, we don't want to do that, sorry, paste it in the CSS, we don't want to copy that. I want to copy this, paste this in. Okay, so it's a function here. I'm going to tab this a little bit. Yes, we have an if-else statement here. Um, okay, I'm just tabbing this. And then after this, we'll close out our script tag. Hit control save. Okay, and then we'll go back to our browser. Math refresh, and it's not quite working yet. I might not have actually saved the right index. Let's see. Let's do save as. It's going to be in the right file. Yes. All right. So we've got it open. Um, all right. I want to see what the issue is. Let's refresh. And it's still not working. Hmm. Um, all right, I may need to copy some code in there, so let's check. Um, the media queries. Let's see, let's take a look at the style. Let's make sure this is saved in the right place. And it is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. 
I got the regular menu CSS and then that. Well, isn't that fun? All right, let me check something else. History. History, go here. And I want to clear browsing data. And I'm going to just clear uh, the cached images. Okay. And there we go. Okay, so that was the problem. So that sometimes happens. You have to clear the cache of the history uh, to get it to work. But we've now added the mobile menu. So look at that. That's pretty nice. But we've got this place and add here. We've got most recent articles here. So we have to do something about that. Okay, so we're going to go back here. And we're going to go, uh, let's see, where should I do this? Um, so we have the mobile menu uh css i'm going to make a section for um just a regular site mobile css here I'm comment that out and then i'm going to do uh add a media screen uh and parentheses and max width it's going to be 600 pixels okay close that out I have a bracket there, and then we're going to look at the sections. So the index has a section starting called aside left. So we're going to do dot aside left because that's a class. Um, and in there, we're going to change the display to none. So when it gets to 600 pixels only, it's going to not display. Okay. So and then I'll close that out there. Um, and we're just going to make that change right now. Hit refresh. And you'll see it goes away. But we still have this here. Okay. So we still have to change a few things. Um, then we have the aside. Actually, we're going to deal with the main. And we're going to say that the width of the main is going to be 100%. And we'll bracket, close that bracket. And then the aside, uh, the width of that is going to be 100%. And we'll close that out. Okay. So now I'm going to refresh. And all of a sudden we have a um, the full main here. And then I place an ad here. That's the sidebar. Okay. And then the footer. Now we have the footer. We have to take care of that. So each of these is going to be full width. All right, so then we have to look at the footer. So we go down here. Um, okay, the footer is an asset. Now we can look at footer two. So we have left up or dot left footer, dot center footer, and dot right footer. So, include. so we'll start with dot left footer, and we'll make the width on that 100%. Close that out. Dot uh, middle footer, I believe is what I called it. And we'll do the width on that as 100%. And then dot right footer. And we'll do the width on that as 100%. Okay, and then we're going to hit control save. All right. Okay, so then these aren't centered, but, um, but now we're getting... It to look a little bit better, and let's just take a look. Actually, let's look at the that's footer two, it's going to be pulling in footer one. Remember, I made a couple files, so let me open footer one um, in the assets folder, just regular footer. Uh, I, the one thing about Notepad that's a little uh, annoying is you do have to, when you open this, I have to make sure. I open it as a PHP file. Okay, so let's see. And ah, should be center footer, not middle footer. And let me check to make sure I have 
Yes, center footer. So I made a mistake here. I put middle footer, and that's why it looks a little weird. So I want to. You want to make sure you name them the correct thing. All right. So now, boom. Okay. So now that's looking pretty good. Um, this here. Uh, I have a list here and a list here. And I want to have a little bit better padding for the list in general. So let's see if I've addressed the list. Yeah, see, I haven't put any padding on this. So I'm going to put a padding of 10 pixels. Um, actually, let's see. I'm going to go 0 for the top, 10 pixels, 0 for the bottom, and then 10 pixels. We'll do it like that. And let's see if that takes care of it. Yep. That moves them a bit more. Uh, away from the side. That makes it look a little bit nicer. Um, and then we got the nice footer coming out. We've got the one sidebar. Now you may be asking, well, why did I take the left sidebar? And I, may, I totally vanished the left sidebar in the mobile version. And um, the reason I did that is that if I didn't do that, well, let's, let's unvanish it here for a moment. So if I didn't do that, mobile part. Uh, so I have this display none. If I take this out and I just say, well, width is uh, 100%. Well, I have that going before the other thing in the code. So guess what's going to happen? So we're going to have most recent articles first, and then we move into our main content and then our write. I really don't want to do that. So I'd rather have the main content right from the start on the mobile phone. So I'm going to say display none. Now, if you really want to get fancy, you can have uh, anything larger than 600 pixels you can create another um, another left footer or sorry another left sidebar and I may do that actually um, that wouldn't display when it's larger than six, 600 pixels but would display when it's um, smaller than 600 pixels okay um, so let's actually do that. Why don't we do that? Uh, so we have the side left is coming in, and we're going to create something else. We're going to call, um, we're just going to do a PHP uh, include function, and we're going to do a side, call this file a side left mobile um, dot PHP. And we'll close out the PHP tag, save that. We're going to create a new file. So let's do a new and we'll create it. Uh, we'll save it in the assets folder. And we call that, let's see, aside left mobile.php. Okay. Um, let's make sure I called it that. Side left mobile.php. Okay. And then we'll say uh, this only displays on mobile. And we'll close that. We'll save that. Uh, now, if we go to the site here, we'll go here and we hit refresh. Well, uh oh. Ah. We got another error. We got to specify the folder. So hold on. Uh, so I'm going to make in the assets folder assets slash okay okay so we go there uh this only displays on mobile but it's displaying now on the top we don't want that okay so we're going to go to the style sheet okay and then what we're going to do is we're going to do uh, uh we'll call this to hide mobile only sidebar and then we'll close that. And then we'll say at media screen and min width of 600 pixels. Um, I actually want to make it, sorry, 601 pixels. Um, we're going to say, uh, what did we call this? Oh, we have to give it. One thing we have to do is we have to give it a div class. So we're going to say div class equals a side left mobile. Okay. And then close out the div. 
Okay, and then we're gonna go here and we're gonna say um, dot side left mobile. And oh, there's a couple things we have to do. We're gonna say display is none when it's larger than uh, 600 pixels. Okay. Um, okay. We'll close that out, but here's the deal. Um, I need to rearrange it. So um, I don't want it. I don't want this here. Okay, because I still want it after the main. So I'm going to hit Control X, and then I'm going to bring it below the main and above the other side. So to come before the other side now. Um, and let's see. All right, so we'll refresh and break this down. Um, and then we see here, this only displays on mobile. Um, let's actually make it a little bit easier for you to see. Sorry. Um, so we'll say, do a, uh, a heading here. And we'll say a mobile only sidebar. I don't know why I capitalized the bar part, but whatever. You get the point. A mobile-only sidebar, okay? Uh, and then watch what happens. As we expand it out, it's, it goes away, okay? So we bring it back, and we get a mobile-only sidebar. Now, here's the thing. You probably want to mobile-optimize this, so maybe what we want to do, this is looking a little crunched. So maybe here. So maybe we change this a little bit and we just say that this is 800 pixels and this is 801 pixels. Okay, hit control and save. Uh, and then we refresh and it goes once it gets to this side. Okay, so it looks okay here, boom. Now it's, it's for only mobile, okay? And then when you get down to the phone, it's still for only mobile, okay? And you've got this mobile only sidebar that shows up. We'd want to keep, uh, for consistency, keep the same thing as the regular left sidebar. Um, so when you have this regular left sidebar here, we want to keep that. So maybe we want to change the uh, side left to um, just do most recent articles. And maybe do a little break here, space it. Uh, we'll say most recent articles. Uh, and then you say that one only displays on mobile. Um, and then we'll open, let's open the other one. Uh, just the, no, well, we don't have another one yet. So we have to create another one. But um, so we have most recent articles here. And we'll refresh, okay? And then come down. This is most recent articles here, but this only displays on mobile. The place to add here that displays anywhere. So now we've got got our um, our website beginning to be mobile optimized and looking pretty good uh, for just uh, starting out. Um, so we're working on it. Uh, in subsequent videos, so this was a video was part five. I think I mistakenly said that previous video was part five when it was four. Um, so in this one, to summarize, we mobile optimized uh, the website so it looks good on a mobile phone um, and you know a tablet. Um, and then we moved around some sidebars to make them work. Um, and then in the subsequent videos, I'm actually going to be creating a quiz that students can take on JavaScript. It's not going to store the results in the database. It's just going to be like a practice type quiz um, because it's it's not server side. It's uh, on the client side uh, with JavaScript. And um, from that, it's going to spit out a result as to how they did on the quiz. So stay tuned for that in the future videos. Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it and got something from it.